is on time hello my name is christian and welcome to flourish channel how are you guys doing i have this message to share with you it's just gonna be brief it's like a testimony of me encouraging you or never give up on your faith never never deny that jesus is not god that jesus is not real if there is god why is this thing happening to me believe me Jesus is real and he's doing great and mighty things. There is a set time for everything. Just like the Bible says, there is a set time. Those temptations that come to you or someone tempts you, they are just part of it in life for you to move to your next level. I can remember in my life, I think 10 years ago, I can't, I think 9 or 10 years ago, if I may say, uh, a, a, a friend of ours, was saying to me i have a document and the document was finally taken away from me and they asked me to go back to my country then then i was dating my husband now and he said okay no we got to find another way out to to do this and during this process we went out to visit a friend and uh, i was just talking to the guy about christ and encouraging it's not a guy it's a man encouraging this married man to come to church invite him to church and then he was he jesus is really god if you are all the things you're telling me about if it is we why can't your god give you documents my sister my brother that thing eats me let me use my nigerian language on it it was so painful i went back home that day and i i cried the night i cried it was like someone was challenging my faith I was, I think I was crying and praying this end and I did not, I was, my faith has not grown the way it is now because I'm still growing and um, maybe God was talking to me that night, I couldn't even listen, I couldn't hear him, it is me, I'm not, he was actually, I know he was talking to me because when I see how things go now, he was actually talking to me but I did not hear him because I've not had that deep fellowship with him but let me tell you, after all this while, I have a document, not just a document, I, I have, I'm a, re, I'm a, I'm a, I live in a country where I am the, their citizenship now. Why I'm telling you this is because things will happen in your life to try your faith as a Christian. Things will happen. They don't because of that. I didn't say because that guy, that man said that word, I will stop going to church. I, in fact, I'm not going, I won't serve God again. I did not. I'm still going. I was still going. I was still serving God. I was still telling God, you are God. Believe me, if the devil can tempt Jesus, who am I? Who are we that, it, that men or women cannot tempt? That they will not come to, to, to put down? There are things that will happen in your life. I remember when after getting married, after getting married, and uh, yeah, as a Nigerian, you know, Africa. I don't know if, what other part of Africa country, but the way we grow up, the way I was grow up is, after I'm married, the next thing they want is have children. It was a pressure. First year passed, second year. Ha uh ha. -huh. If I, my father was calling me, please, it's time for you to have your own kids. Friends will start calling, and some people will just call on the wise and say, I think you guys should go for pray to pray or burn the spirit of barrenness. And it was just different things. Maybe it's just their home time. I don't really get angry with those people, actually. I don't. I Because at then I was, this was my home time. My set time has not come. I'm it's still studying the world because i have some things i have to go through and the things in life then i was fighting with uh, thoughts <laughs> that's another thing but there's, there's a thought sometimes the devil will speak to you my sister my brother and you start confessing that thought it will affect a lot that's another thing i was fighting there because i know before i married my husband there was a thought telling me that it was going to be in take me a longer time and i was so confessing it i was telling my friends and i was naive because i didn't know the word of god then so much that i do now but i thank god i listened to a message from the man of god reverend pastor chris you're kidding me my pastor gave it to me and he told me to go the power of thought in fact the day that thought that i know the day the thought finally left me, I know. That's why whenever I'm anywhere I am now, there was just a little thing. It may be just nothing. Uh, you go to eat, oh, there's going to be a hand on the floor. And then you see the, I reject it because I don't want to take nonsense anymore in my life. Because I've understand the power of thought and how to deal with it. It's by just saying what you want, say what you you you, you need, what, what you want. Don't accept what that thought brought to you. 
So there I am telling you this testimony. After the, my, I can imagine a friend of mine then gave me a gift. My beautiful sister, he gave me a gift of a baby who used to carry kids then. Even that, in that process, he gave me a blue and a, a pink. I was like, why are you giving me? And he posted from where she lived to where I am. She said, I saw you carrying two babies. I was like, me? I said, twins? No, I don't want twins. If I even want a child, that one is enough for me to carry. I don't want twins at all. But after I had my son, I even used the pink and the blue for, for him. But I look after two years ago, I have my daughter. I, 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 this thought came to me now. That's why I'm making this video quickly. Because I don't know who I'm going to bless. I don't know what you're going through. Because that's why sometimes I see people who are going through infertility. It breaks my heart. I've gone through that way. And I thank God for the victory. And I always take my time to pray for those people. And even for those who, who have it so quickly. I'm grateful for God for their life that you didn't let them go through those process. It doesn't matter. It may be those who are looking for documents. It may be you're looking for a stable job. It doesn't matter. You're looking for a life partner. Whatever you are going through, people will come to try to tell you, ah, yeah, you get your holder. Uh, uh, you, you, your time is past. Don't let them put you down. Maintain your confession. Stick on the word. Even when they say it, Go back to your closet and begin to talk to God. Begin to tell your God what you want. Begin to say, this. let this thing happen to me be a testimony. Because these are the things I've been saying to myself for many years. Say, God, I want my life to be a testimony to others. I want the things that happen to me to be a testimony to encourage others. And now I'm beginning to see it. And I'm not going to hold back. Because that is what God has called me to. And I'm going to be telling as many who has heard. The Bible says, those who have heard, let them hear. That no matter what your situation you're going through, there is still hope for you in Christ. Your Satan has not come. But when your Satan comes, you will shine. You will flourish. Let nothing put you down. Let them, they will definitely talk. Say, don't say, hey, they don't come. We get all of, you know, they will come. They will come. They may think. Remember. He never fails. He is always on time. Our God never fails. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, man. No matter what your situation, that's why I'm sharing this testimony to you. No matter what it is, is it your home, in your marriage, even after you have the kids, I will still be saying a lot of things. But maintain your confession. Stick to the word of God. Stick to the right people who, who encourage you, who bless your life, not those who have nothing to add to you. Be in the right place. Encourage yourself with the word of God. I, I invite everyone to join us in the Flourish Cell on Facebook Messenger. Your life will never remain the same again. Your life will never remain the same. We have a prayer session. We have a Bible study session where we reach out to the world everywhere. Doing what God has called us to do to encourage ourselves, empower ourselves with the word of God. Because that is what we need. All that we need is in the word. And we have to stick to the word. My brothers and sisters, stick to the word. Be a helper, be, be kind, be lovely. No matter what you see someone going through that situation around you, don't come out with so harsh words because you don't know what the person is going through inside, he or her. Always be kind, be lovely. That is why we have this channel, to let you know that we love you and that no matter what you're going through, people have gone through it and people are still going through it and I know I'm still going to go through more and more in my life because that is life. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let, let them throw their best shot. The one thing is sure. My victory is assured. I'm going to confess what the word of God says concerning me. And you keep saying it. That's what I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters. Keep saying what God has said concerning you. If you don't say anything, something will happen. Don't forget it. Always say the right word. Be steadfast. Be, be kind and be lovely. Tell someone about Christ is the most important thing. Tell someone what God is doing in your life, and your life will not remain the same. If you have a similar testimony, please share in the in the in the, in the comment section. Share your testimony, you know, and let's and let's keep the, the, the this vlog going. Share your testimony. Like this video. Share this video. Comment on it. Subscribe and tell others your life will never be made this thing. Remember, it is a flourish channel. And you will keep flourishing as you watch this video, as you continue to watch it, watch it again and again and again. That is where the blessing is. Enjoy and have a beautiful day. God bless you all. Bye.